Hi everybody. So my Whirlpool Duet Sport Washer is flashing F21, the air code. Um, so apparently there's something wrong with the drain again. I swear I, I have to do this like I swear every three or four months. I will never in my life own another front load again. So in order to access it, you have to take off the screws and we do it so often that we only leave one screw in anymore because it gets to be a pain in the butt so um, you unscrew it so I, I unscrewed it now you just got to take it off and to get access to this little thing and hopefully my washer is not full of water so make sure when you unscrew it that you do it you do it slowly because if it's full of water it's going to fill up pretty fast and you don't want that so just unscrew it mm -hmm. see So you're just going to let this, all the water drain out. Like I said, make sure you do it slowly because you don't know if your washer is full and you don't want it gushing everywhere. So let that work. Yeah. So I cleaned it all out good and it was a sock. It was like a mangled sock that was up there. Um, it still looks nasty, but it is what it is. At least all the crud's out. So then you hope that there's nothing stuck up in the hose like this part. So what I do is I take a flashlight. I find one here. Sorry. And kind of shine it up in there just to make sure nothing is stuck up in the hose, which you guys can't see. So, um, yeah, I can't. I don't think there's anything stuck up there, but I'm gonna look up there good and see. Okay, so after looking up there, I seen like there's some stuff up oh, back in the hose. Back up in there. It's hard to, for you guys to see it, so I just taking this, this and like digging it out, and sure enough, there's some more money in there. So I'm just making sure there's nothing, hopefully, stuck still up in there. I think we might be in the clear um but i'm gonna wipe take a rag and just wipe it all off good and um try to get it as cleaned out as i can i mean all the debris out so that's all that i care about and then you just take this and you screw tighten it back in there Make sure it's pretty tight and then you just put the cover back on and we'll turn it on and let's hope it helps. Okay, so I got everything put Stop back it. on and you'll want to use this kind of bit um, to get it on and off. We just leave it at the bottom of our down here underneath because like I said, we do it all the time. Um, so let's... Let's try this again and let's hope that it's going to drain and wash good. I don't, I'll have to see if there's water. Well, let's, let's drain it. Let's try draining it just to make sure that all the water is out. And let's hope it works. I think that was it. Here, if we can hear the water going out. All right, I think it's gonna work, people. Woo